hello guys taps here welcome to my youtube channel i'm so excited to be sharing this video with you today and in this video we are going to go over a built-in tool that would help us keep an eye on security and performance issues on our wordpress website because i know how important this is i really cannot get myself to stop talking about uh, monitoring your site health health tool has been a built-in feature since version 5.1 and at this time it was a little clunky to say the least but going forward there's been several improvements and uh, it has become a very helpful tool now there are no settings for you to mess up or no update for you to worry about i also need to mention that it's not a replacement for those other security tools out there that you may need to use for your website but one thing I know about this tool is that it will let you know if you have older versions of PHP or some inactive plugins or themes you may want to delete or activate as well as a bunch of other checks. Let's have a look. You may have it displayed right here on your dashboard and if you don't then you may want to come up here to the screen options, click the drop down and make sure that the box here is ticked. Now as far as accessing your site health tool is concerned like I said. You can click on the link in the site health status module or in the tool in your left admin sidebar click on the site health either way you end up in the same spot right here as soon as you have access to this page that circle up there may display as blue gray or then hopefully green otherwise if your site health is not good then the color may reflect a yellow or even a red and under this status, you will get a list of items you should pay attention to. Uh, that is if you have any. And you might just have a big check mark here. Uh, yeah, that means everything is working perfectly and you have nothing to worry about. I've got inactive plugins and team. I should get read of or activate them. It also tells you what this item reference, be it security issue or a performance issue via the drop down arrow. This gives you more information about the particular type of issue and in a lot of cases there are links in there you can click uh, for you to learn more about that particular issue. Now if you take a look at some of these past tests that will give you an idea of what all your site L2 tests for and you see them broken down into performance and security. And don't forget to also hit the drop down if you fancy to learn more about these issues. Now you have these two options up here, but this status is the one we are going to pay a lot of attention to many times. But the info option does give additional information regarding our site as well. A little bit of a blob here will tell you more about that. And just in case, like it says here, you have a request from your hosting service support staff to get a copy of your site info. This is probably what they're talking about. Click and copy site info to clipboard, paste them into your text document and then zip it and then send it to your hosting staff. Over the time, what I have encountered is that if your site have issues and you're contacting your hosting service support staff, they are going to want you to create an admin level user for them to get access into your admin area so that they can poke around and see uh, what's going on for themselves. But in case you need to send information like this to your hosting service, they want to see your health tool, then now you know how to get it. So thank you very much for watching this video. If you find it very useful, give me a thumbs up. If you have any other issue around your site health or this tool, you can drop them in the comment section for me. Up until then, bye for now.